As you know, the NDIS, the National Disability Insurance Scheme, is very popular. So many people appreciate the services they get from it, but more people want help from it than can get it, and it's uh, costing a bomb. So it's going to be a big issue for a long while to come. And one of the key problems is that no-one over the age of 65 can get access to the scheme. Instead, they head off into the aged care system, which often doesn't have some of the resources to look after them. David Morgan is pushing to reform the NDIS. He's the National Campaign Manager for Disability Doesn't Discriminate. And he joins me now from Brisbane. Thanks for joining us, uh, David. Uh, I understand this has been an issue right from the outset uh, when the NDIS was first announced. People were worried that, you know, you couldn't get in if you're over 65. And as the scheme has rolled out, uh, this problem has been unfolding. Tell, can you tell us in practical terms some of the people who are being disadvantaged by this cut-off date? Well, I don't think uh, many Australians actually realise that if you're 65 or over and say you had a fall or a car accident and sustained uh, a serious spinal or brain injury, or even if you had a tumour that would damage your spine, uh, that you are not allowed in the NDIS because you're over 65. Uh, you'd be thrown into what is a rather shambolic aged care system, which was never actually designed to look after people with disabilities. And in that situation too, um, the highest package you would get in aged care would be something like $52,000 a year. But with these sort of disabilities and injuries, you could be facing $100,000 to $300,000 in costs per annum. Now, there's not too many Australians who might have the money to be able to look after themselves. So um, we have cases of um, a woman, an academic, for example, who has to sleep in her wheelchair because she can't afford the lifting equipment to get her into bed. Um, there are so many cases of, of people who have been thrown into poverty and ultimately they end up going into aged care because they can't look after themselves. They haven't got the resources and yet <laughs> they've gone into aged care way too early because they're not old. Yeah, and there's, there's no doubt that you get a better range of services and funding through the NDIS. And uh, as you say, the whole idea really is to try and support people in the community rather, to have to, to, rather than having to go into care. Can you just clarify for me, if you're on the NDIS before the age of 65, though, you can continue? Presumably you don't get kicked off once you hit 65? No, no, you're still, uh, you're still in that, uh, that operation, yes. I mean, I think there were some assumptions made that people might transition into aged care, but at the moment, given that uh, state of that system, uh, who'd want to do that? Uh, yeah. It's just not set up, never was set up for, for these sorts of people. So this is a real problem for people who uh, get hit with a disability after 65, which is a pretty young age these days, given the, 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 the average life expectancy. Mm. This, I understand this has been a rule that's been in place since the system has, was started under Labor and continued under a coalition government. Do either of the major parties give you any indication that they're up to change? Well, the Disability Doesn't Discriminate campaign has written to every single candidate in this federal election, asking them three simple questions. Do you support or oppose age discrimination? Would you support or oppose the implementation of... Uh, recommendation 72 of the Aged Care Royal Commission, which basically said uh, anyone in aged care with a disability should receive exactly what they would get if they were in the NDIS. And, and thirdly, would you prosecute uh, a change to this if you were elected to Parliament? Now, uh, it's very sad, really, but we had quite an appalling response in that many, many candidates did not respond. Uh, the major two parties uh, merely trotted out the sort of party, party line. It was really only all the independent MPs and a number of the independent candidates and the Greens who are supporting uh, the removal of this age discrimination. Yeah, the ones who will never have to pay for it. Uh, you've got to get those major parties uh, backing it. That's, that's the debate to continue up to and beyond the election. Thanks for joining us, David. Mm. I appreciate it. It's, that, David it's an Morgan there, Thanks for the time. Disability Doesn't Discriminate National Campaign. This is an issue. It's going to be an issue for a long while. Obviously, it makes sense that people over 65 should get the same disability care that people under 65 get. The issue is going to be the costs and marrying those with aged care costs. But I think it's a, a, a really important issue. You want to know about it. And uh, we've got to keep our politicians focused on this as they try and rejig and make the NDIS and aged care more efficient, more sustainable, more affordable.